Hey guys, I hope you're good. I'm coming to you with a special Valentine's edition of the vlog. Valentine's Day is a wonderful time of the year. After all, who doesn't love being in love? But for some people, it can be quite difficult. If you don't have a date this Valentine's, then maybe you should consider falling in love with a boater. There are so many reasons that you should date a boater. And in this video, I am gonna give you the top 10. The first reason that you need to date a boater is that we're independent. We are those square pegs that don't fit into round holes. We don't need to play by society's rules or fit in with the crowds. So I can guarantee if you date a boater, we won't be all needy on you. We can get on living our own lives whilst you live yours and just come together in the most beautiful way. The second reason that you need a boater in your life is for our problem solving skills. It's no secret that when you're living on the water things go wrong and you need to be able to think quickly on your feet to come up with solutions and those skills that we've got of keeping calm under pressure and just working out a solution can be transferred over into our love lives as well. Reason number three that you absolutely need some boat love is that we are strong and flexible and I'm not just talking emotionally and you want to see what we can do with a bit of rope. Fourth reason that you need to shack up with a boater like yesterday is spiders. If you find incy wincy in your shower, no longer will the bathroom be off limit for weeks on end until you are absolutely sure that he has relocated. Your boater will be straight in there to sort out your eight-legged problem. Reason number five. No, you know when you start dating someone and those first few weeks are really awkward where you need to use the toilet in their house but you leave the tap running and pretend that you haven't just dropped a great big log there is no need to do that when you're with a boater when it comes to poo we've seen it all we've done it all walls are very thin on boats and once you've said goodbye to Mr. Hankey, we'll be saying hello to him again in a few days at the Elslan. So with us, you can just relax straight away and we can skip that awkward stage. Reason number six, and if this doesn't convert you, I don't know what will. You literally do not need to make any effort with us. When you get hot and sweaty with your boater, remember, it could be days, lots of days since we've had a shower. And fashion, forget about it. Your boater is gonna look for clothes that can be tumble dried, don't need any ironing. Less is definitely more when it comes to a boater. And the last thing you wanna do is show them up by being overdressed. So lower your stuff to our standards and everyone's a winner. Reason number seven that you need to get some boater action is that we are so easy to impress. We don't care if you live in a mansion or if you've got a fancy car. If you could just offer us an occasional bath and some unlimited internet to fulfill all of our Netflix needs, you'll be getting the and chill in no time. Okay, reason number eight that you need to get it on with a boater. And this is a very attractive reason. We won't be expecting any big presents. We've got nowhere to put them. It doesn't help us. It doesn't help you. If there's a special occasion coming up, just get us some coal or a new set of tools and we'll happily screw away for hours. Reason number nine that you need to get a boater in your life? We are just so happy to do nothing. We're used to long evenings without television or internet. So we're more than happy with a romantic walk along the towpath or to come back on board and just make our own entertainment. If you're happy to spend a hot night of nothing in front of the fire, we'll be inviting you back again and again to check out where our bilge is and maybe even repack our stone gland. But on a serious note, reason number 10 that you absolutely must get a boater to fall in love with you. Come the zombie apocalypse, 
we're going to be the last ones standing. We're used to living underneath the radar, being self-sufficient. We're used to eating food that's probably more than a few days past its best before date. We can make fire and we're probably carrying a knife. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any romantic boating stories, do let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. I will see you all again very, very soon. Much love. Love, love.